The YJ Long 3x3 is the first mass-produced magnetic 50mm 3x3. Obviously, we also have the Mofang Jiaoshi 50mm 3x3 that came out two or three years ago, which was part of a series of smaller cubes, all with the same design, right down to 30mm. However, the interesting thing is that this 50mm cube, despite being magnetic, is only 58.1 grams, whereas this is 64.5 grams. So, I don't know how that's happened. Clearly, they've done something well in reducing the size. So, let's check, make sure it is exactly 50 millimeters. And yes, it is 50 millimeters exactly. There we go. So, and yep, it does perform very nicely. You can. It's a very nice feeling speed cube. Obviously, it doesn't come with any customization features, just the standard. Here I am trying to solve a cube through the camera. But yeah, it feels very nice. It also has basically flawless corner cutting. It can do anything. It can do that. If you push it, if you put it to the line like that, it reverse corner cuts. And if you go slightly further, it just goes with a normal corner, forward corner cut. So that is very good. So, yep, here we have the standard 3 by one millimeter magnet. I suspect it's N35 or something because obviously it's a smaller cube, so you'd expect smaller magnets and it, do it doesn't feel very strong in terms of magnetic feel. It's a pretty standard 3x3 three three design, nothing unusual. Lines there to help reduce friction and yeah, there's, there really is nothing unusual, I don't think. Um, and yeah, it performs very nicely. I don't think there are any cubes that it really closely resembles. I presume it's somewhat resemblant of the Yulong V2M, but certainly not significantly. It is a new 3x3 design. So personally, I've been getting times maybe 0.5 to 1 seconds below my average for standard 3x3 solving with this, which I think is purely the size. So if you like smaller cubes, then this is the best 50mm cube on the market easily. Um, even for one-handed, I have a problem with it. It's just too small for me. But I know that some people prefer smaller cubes one-handed and some people even for three by three and if that's you then I would definitely recommend getting this cube straight away simply because it is the best 50 millimeter cube on the market I mean you could magnetize one of these but I still think this would be better I don't know for certain because I haven't magnetized one of um, the MF mini cube yet but I think this is better anyway so I would recommend it, and it's not expensive, it's only £9, so just get it. <laughs> so it is nice to see some variants in sizes of cubes and things like this, but one thing that um, always annoys me a bit is whenever whenever they release a new 50 millimeter cube is just it's it's a different design it's a nice design i want to try that cube in normal size normal 56 millimeter size to see whether it is actually competitive against other cubes but the option's never there the these new cubes are always a different design and it it does annoy me a bit, but I guess it's what the cube companies decide to do, and maybe they just conclude that 
the design isn't great for 56 millimeter cubes or even that it's designed in such a way specifically for that size which confuses me a bit because surely you can easily just scale it down that's precisely what they did with the GAN 354M and it is lit V2M it is literally a scaled down version of the GAN 356M just literally is nothing else so yeah I'd like to see it but it's probably not going to happen it is nice to see variant sizes of cubes and I do think they'll continue randomly releasing weird sized cubes occasionally but I don't think there's a massive market for them but who knows I mean certain people like certain cubes and these might become popular it's not far off the performance to cubes like the RS3M2020 it's just smaller <laughs>